Here we are folks with another video on color in Adobe Illustrator. I'm Jason and let me show you how we can create color swatches from existing artwork. And I've got my fire hydrant that I've created. It's all vector here, but I also have an image of a fire hydrant that I kind of used when I was creating my objects. Now, when I created this fire hydrant, I was playing with the different colors and tints and shades of this, and I didn't create any color swatches that mirror this fire hydrant. But I would like to put all of these color swatches into my swatches panel so that I can use them for future use. Easiest way to go ahead and do this is to select the artwork that you have created, go under the swatches drop down menu, and I'm going to choose add selected colors. All of the colors that I created in this fire hydrant have now been added to my swatch list, but they've also been added as global colors. Now, if you don't know about global colors, check out my video on global colors. It's absolutely imperative that you know what global colors are because they are truly fantastic. Huge time saver. Select it, add the selected colors, and we get all the colors in there. Now, here's an interesting thing. I have a picture. How do I grab color from a picture. Well, I'm going to go to my eyedropper tool, which is the letter I. There it is in my toolbar, eyedropper tool. Here's my selected picture. I'm going to go in and I'm going to click on the color of my picture. And you'll notice that it will add it to my color picker here, and it will also add it to my swatches here. Now, when I do this, how do I get this into my swatch panel? Well, it's kind of tricky. I'm going to go under the window menu and I'm going to call up my color panel here. And the reason why I call up my color panel here is because it also reflects that color here in my color panel. And in order to get this color into my swatches panel, I'm going to use my color panel. So I use my eyedropper tool, go to my color panel, and I'm going to click on the drop down menu and say create new swatch. And creating the new swatch is going to be based on the color that I just selected, which shows up here in the color panel. So I create a new swatch, I make sure it's global, and I click OK. It adds that swatch. Now I can go in and I can choose each and every individual color by using my eyedropper tool and adding these swatches one by one so I have them in my color panel that quick. It takes a few steps, but it allows me to add it in. And that's the fastest way to be able to go in and select a color and get the color into your color panel and then get that into your swatch panel as a global color. Now you may be saying, wait a second, when I use my eyedropper tool, it's not picking up the color of the picture. And here's the reason why. When you use your eyedropper tool, double click on the eyedropper tool to call up your eyedropper options. If all of the check boxes are checked here like this, and you try to go in and pick up a color, you'll notice it doesn't pick up the color. It just sits there and clicks, but it doesn't give you the resulting color. Well, what you have to do is uncheck just the very top appearance button so that it copies everything except the overall appearance, and then click OK. Once you turn that off and then you go in and select, that's going to allow you to select that color. It's a weird little trick, but it works every single time. Pretty cool. So that's how you can grab color from an existing image or graphic that you've created and get those colors into your swatches panel for you to use.